Charlotte and this one's a little bit different. We're not going on a work trip, but we are traveling. We are doing a athlete retreat with Team BPN. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know I work with BPN, it's the supplement company. And I just wanna show you a little behind the scenes of going to a retreat like that. But I am gonna be traveling. So I'm gonna be using my brand new suitcase. So it's not brand, brand new. I had to use it a couple times and I absolutely love it. This all aluminum suitcase from Sterling Pacific. This thing is absolutely beautiful and a spec monster. So yeah, I'll give you a quick spin over. All aluminum, most of it 5052. The corners, like I said, 8380. It has the impact bearing ridges on the front and back. And um, usually companies will go to like, you know, cheap out a little bit on the trolley and the trolley housing. But this is all so all aluminum. And then one of my favorite things, like as I was unboxing it, the thing that really stuck out to me is this full grain Italian leather on the handle, on the top, on the side, and then also wrapped on the trolley here. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. And then also for security, um, it's got dual TSA locks here, and it just, listen, listen to this. <laughs> that is sick. And then it just opens up into a beautiful suitcase. You got your straps here to lock things down. You got a nice little spot here for your, this is where I like to put my underwear and my socks. I'll show you what I'm packing for this trip. And then also it comes with a nice little toiletry bag with some awesome stuff in here. Let's check it out actually. We have some leather wax. So obviously you want to keep your stuff nice. You want to keep those handles nice. Um, a beautiful pen. A nice cleaning cloth, and then also a lifetime warranty. So I'll stack all, all of my clothes in this baby, and then I'll put most of my shoes and accessories and other stuff, camera gear and whatnot, in my backpack. Also, when it comes to the wheels, I know a lot of people like four wheel designs. I'm not a four wheel design guy, I've never had it. First off, it might just wheel away from me if it's not an even surface, and then if it's not a like even surface, like kind of bumpy, Four wheels are just kind of difficult to wheel it around. So these have two oversized wheels. They are you know, encased in an aluminum frame and it just, I mean, super, super smooth. So I really like this design and uh, it works for me. But yeah, let's get into what I'm gonna be packing. So nothing too crazy here. Uh, I'm only going out for two days, but obviously it's an athlete retreat. So we're gonna be running, lifting, hitting the sauna, ice bath, we're gonna be going out and partying. We're gonna, you know, listen to some uh, speakers. We're gonna be doing a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, so some nice clothes and also a lot of workout clothes. Then lock her down. And if you want that security? Put in your code, lock her up, and she's good to go. Also, the weight to durability ratio on this thing. I mean, it's made like an airplane. It's got stainless steel rivets all around, locked in the aluminum, and it's just. Uh, a well-made suitcase. So it's not going to be uh, a menace to like lug around. This is fully packed and it's ridiculously light, but it has a lifetime warranty. So if it does break, you can just get a new one, but it's made really well. So it's gonna last a very, very long time. So anyway, that's all I got on the suitcase. Now it's just gonna have some fun in Nashville with the team. Um, I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody and just getting in some workouts with everybody. So we'll see you guys at the airport and in Nashville. All right, we're at the airport getting the athlete weekend started. Gracie's also here with me. She's doing some podcast stuff this week. She's actually interviewing Steph Bear, Stephanie Bear, Nick Bear's wife. Good lineup in Nashville. We won't really be hanging out. We're like super busy with events all week, basically. And just stuff to do, and then she's got her own stuff going on, but we're still traveling together. You need a gigantic one. This thing's gonna be 50 pounds on the dot. 100%. Gracie checked the bag as usual. <laughs> she's here two days, Nashville two days. 60 pounds. 60 pounds. I, honestly, I don't know how it happened. That's why I need to carry on like this. Yes. That's why you need a Sterling Pacific. It will not be over 50 pounds, guaranteed. I'll see you over there. I'm going through KCM because, you know, we don't need to wait in these lines. 
the best part of being a pilot is uh, skipping the line, going through KCM. I mean, TSA is sometimes super fast as well, but KCM is way faster. It didn't get random, we made it through. We landed, we are here in Nashville. Howdy! The BPM bus is here at, uh, on the arrivals level, so meeting up with them. The BPN bus. Oh, the squad. Part of the squad is here. And to the Airbnb. Got the squad. Everybody say hello. What's up? What's up? What's up? Damn. Yes, we got all the girls down here in the bottom level. Wow. Check this out. We just got to the Airbnb. Cameras are rolling. And we got supplements for days. Go bars, greens, reds, pre-workout. This is insane. All right, just got to the room. Got our assigned bag. Pretty sweet. Let's see if there's anything in here. This is my first like athlete weekend where it's like this. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Blue bag, some, some gear. You can hoodie. Sick new hat. Got one more sweatshirt. Nice t-shirt. We're getting pretty good. I'm gonna throw this on for sure. This is gonna be such an epic week. There's gonna be like 18 of us or something. Two people per room, big mansion. Bunch of running, bunch of lifting, bunch of eating, going out in Nashville. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good start to the day. Yo, Chef you guys see that there? Nah, no, this is the garlic master. Yeah. <laughs> this is the garlic master. Nick is on the potatoes. I'm doing a little potatoes, a little steak. Oh, Lots yeah. Lots of garlic. Lots of garlic. And a shit ton of steak. I love that. I will cook for you any day. The brand has gone through a lot of evolutions and changes since we started it in 2012. And I appreciate you guys for believing in what we're doing, our mission, our message, the work we put in, and it means the world. Everyone's here, the squad. Epic. The man, the man himself. <laughs> Those that's check out the new Hoka series. Nick, I love you so much. They're really good at buns and giving you the shoes right here. Hella has got the special delivery on the Hoka. That's like your daily shoe. Never seen those yeah, before. That's the best, I think it's the best daily shoe. Good morning, good morning. Day one of the BPN retreat. <laughs> It was quite, <laughs> quite early, the boys were getting after it. We got some coffee in us. Didn't film that much yesterday because just me and everybody. Getting an so yeah, yeah, just being, just being in person. But yeah, it's, uh, what time is it? It's half eight. 5.30. We got a nice 10 mile run this morning. <laughs> 6 a.m., Nick's showing up with the rest of the VPN squad. Yeah, everyone's doing better. Yeah, everyone's just <laughs> eating. Are you, going, yeah, so. are you doing the 10 or the four, 14 or 15? Um, I'm doing the right. I'll probably, I need to do a workout, so I might just do whatever. Whatever Nick does, yeah. Damn. Some people are going to the track and doing like 14 <laughs> miles, but I'm just going to have this coffee and do the easy 10 <laughs> mile workout. <laughs> Everybody's up now. Getting after it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Good morning. Let's go. It's early. Fuel this morning. I'm just hammering two go bars. She's on the same wave. And then some coffee, and that is pretty much it. And then some electrolytes. And we are ready to go for 10 miles. Oh, the boys are matching. Oh, look at the hats. Oh, and the matching hats. Oh, yeah. Go one more. Oh. Oh. What's the breakdown this morning? Freaking down. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening this morning? We're all about to have experience what it's like to run with Nick Bear. Six o'clock in the morning in the middle of Nashville when it's cold outside. And he's yeah. like, oh, I'm going to go 10 miles easy. And then pretty soon you're running marathon pace. That's how it, that's what's about to go down. The famous Steph Sourdough <laughs> is here. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Sourdough Santa. <laughs> yes. I can't say I mean, this is all stuff. All right, official sourdough review. 
cool down Got a little butter on it. I think we myself. I was shaking So good. Steph? I was getting busy. Thank you so much. All right, the morning run is about to begin. 10 miles. We made it 10 miles this morning. We're at Edwin Warner Park, which Edwin. is right outside of Nashville, next to Percy Warner Park. All carved up with sourdough, right? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Fourth time. Yep. All right, 10 miles done. 7.09 pace. Too fast for me, honestly. That was, that was painful, but it was good. Great run. Mm. 10 miles. Boom. Seven ten, I see here. I'm, I'm trying to get seven oh eight. Everybody's grubbing now. We got the whole lineup of breakfast. Uh, some eggs, some bacon. What is this? Meatballs. That's a meatball? I guess so. Everyone is eating, enjoying the morning, fueling back up after the run. The content boys. Oh yes. It's literally just on dirt road. Down, back, out, back. I don't know if I showed you guys the, the full house, but here it is. Yeah, buddy. And we got some uh, chickens over here. Oh, yeah. Any eggs in there? I don't know. The listening room. The listening room. The squad is here. How are you feeling about the listening room? I feel good. I feel like this is a, a good Nashville experience. What is your karaoke song if you had to get up right, right now? I'm not doing karaoke. The yes, you no are. Way. What is it? Like, it would be like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, just to like that would bang. assert that it's cringy already, and then I would have the crowd sing. Nice. Me. All right. You know, I, obviously, I want my wife and I to, to, to do these, to think of these heights, but I would love for my mom and dad to do this too. That's interesting. All right, we're at the uh, the Nashville HQ. This is the the H the Nashville HQ for another five days. Ten days. Nice. Yep. <laughs> and then we Sick. all go back to Texas, baby. Hell yeah. Perfect, and we are getting some pre-workout in. The new flavor, mango, the flight, the endo pump, and then we're hitting the gym after this, and everyone's gonna get jacked. It's gonna be a great time. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. This is the, the new goal, Wasn't the, a million. Uh, <laughs> that would be sick. Pretty far away, but you got it. We got this, easy money. What are we hitting in the gym? the best chest and biceps. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. It's about to be a bro lift of the century. Boom. That was impressive. <laughs> Bang. Knocks on the way out. Arms are looking good. Save the best. Your arms are looking good. Sorry, Wall. Can't hear you pass my biceps. Nick's out angling you right now. Dude, I'm so pasty white right, right now. All right, we're here at Quantum. I think we're starting off with some bench press. French is putting us through a workout. We're hitting chest and arms. <laughs> triceps? We're doing biceps and triceps. Tommy's getting after it. Easy money. We're just doing some bicep curls. <laughs> yeah, 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 nice. All right, dinner is served. We got some burritos, taquitos, a little bit of stir fry. Shocking. Let's go. Everybody is fired up. We are eating good on this trip. No better way to end the day than a little team fire and some s'mores. Tommy's first s'more. Tommy's first s'more ever. I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> I guess it's not an Australian thing. I've never heard of it. That's that's unbelievable. Look at this. Oh yeah. All right, full day done here at the uh, BPN Athlete Week. And yeah, woke up this morning, did a 10 mile run at a pace that was pretty fast for me. Some of these guys are obviously a lot better at running than me, but it was like a 7.09 pace for 10 miles. So that took a lot out of me, but honestly felt pretty good. And we came back here, breakfast, hung out for a little bit, headed to this restaurant, listened to some music, and then went for a gym lift, which was sick. Just 
getting a, a bro lift with the boys is always a good time. And then came back here for some dinner and then the campfire at the end of the night was great. It was some, some great old school classic music. And um, now we're passing out. We got a nice early run tomorrow. Waking up at like 4.45 and leaving here at 5.30, doing another 10 mile run tomorrow. And then after that, um, going to watch like uh, somebody speak. I'm blanking on his name right now, but I will tell you guys tomorrow. And then another gym lift later on. And then I think karaoke tomorrow night. So overall, so far this trip could not have gone better. BPN is absolutely crushing it. It's awesome to come out here for an event like this and be a part of an athlete weekend and meet so many new people that I've been following on Instagram for years and just learning from everybody. It's just an awesome environment to, you know, bounce ideas off of each other and just, just get to know each other. So super pumped to be on this athlete weekend and, um, yeah, so to share it with you guys. So I will, uh, see you guys in the morning for a nice 10 mile run. Good morning, good morning. We are having some early breakfast here. Getting ready for day number two. Let's go. We just got out too. <laughs> we're the early birds in the morning. What? We're hyped. Oh, we're very it's hyped. It's time to run, baby. It's time to run. I already had two go bars and um, just brewed myself a nice cup of coffee, some water, and that'll do. We are fueled up. Could have got more sleep, but. We're gonna get it done. <laughs> As you can see, the, the fuel of choice, oh, the double camera actually well, dropped down to <laughs> The fuel of choice <laughs> is the Go Bar. Everybody loves the Go Bar. It's like oatmeal to go. Dude, it's too good. <laughs> no, no water needed, no milk needed. It's so good. Nico's ready. The early squad's here, 10 miles about to start. It is about 41 degrees, but I refuse to Yeah, that's that'd be nice. And uh, so oh, I was gonna get it done, that. but we got a great squad this morning. Fives are high already. All right, workout is done. 10.1 miles, 813 pace, nice easy zone two. These guys back here are doing a crazy speed workout, but overall, great morning, great start to the day. Let's go. Vibes are high, it's starting to warm up a little bit. Oh, 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 well oh yeah, let's go. Good work, boys. All right, we are here at the gym. Obviously, the uh, the fit isn't isn't quite hit, but the plan is back. Starting off with uh, some pull-ups. We got the man himself, yep. Nathan French here. Bulk. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, I'm bulking. <laughs> Because if I don't bulk, I'm gonna be 185 pounds for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I might do, honestly, I think the goal is gonna be speed project, sub five minute mile, and then a bulk to like 2205, and then back to like 190, 195 instead of 185. Let's go. Going on a Rustler hat co. I'm definitely going with a cowboy hat. It's going to be sick. Is everybody going cowboy hat? Yes. Cowboy hat? Oh. Cowboy hats are not, are not my look. I honestly thought you were one of the models. He looks like a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could. Is that right? 100%. Okay, let's rock it in. I love it. Yes. That's the look right there. This, not the look. Not the look. All right, all right. Now we are officially picking the color of the cowboy hat we want. Yes, we are. What are you going, light? Dark. Are oh, you going dark? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, dark. I am bright enough. If you couldn't tell. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it is officially style this time. Tommy's in the middle of it. So what are we doing here? We are about to curl up your dress. Make it super, super. Nice. Here goes the initials. Beautiful. All right, the finished product on the hat. 
Got a little bit of burning on the edges. My favorite part, a little plain, went nice and simple. All right, we are here at Prince's Hot Chicken. Apparently this is the spot with the best taste. So, what are you going? Uh, what, what, I think I'm gonna go, go with the jumbo, jumbo tenders. Extra, extra, extra hot. We might just go medium on it, honestly. Dude, what are you doing? I'm doing a chicken sandwich, light mild, because I know that here in Nashville everything's just like double as hot as you think it will be. So yeah, I'm true. not risking it. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Deal. I like that too. I went light mild as well. Uh, the food is out. There's so many of us in so many different orders that we don't know who got what, if we got all the food, if we don't have all the food. I guess mine. My food is somewhere in the cosmos. <laughs> in the universe. I'll tell you where it's not. It's not. Good. All right, guys. How is Prince's chicken? Fantastic. Good? Try it yet. First bite. All right, first bite, first bite. Medium heat, so it might kill me or it might not. I went uh, light mild. You went medium? I'm mild in this time. What do you think? It's got some heat to it. Whoa. <laughs> Let's kick it up. Out of 10. I'm happy I'm sitting outside now. Don't be sweating here. I'm sitting 8.2. 8.2? I'll give it like an 8. It's pretty good. 8 flat? I'm gonna get 8 flat. It's good. You are all oh, the sauna session is going down. The last event of the uh, retreat here. <laughs> got the absolute squad. Where are you going? This boy's got his undies on. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's no way, dude. There's no way. Freaking lunatic. I'm glad he chose that side. Do it. Hey, good morning, good morning. It is 3:40. <laughs> in the morning. My uh, my flight board's at 5:30, and it's out at six. So. Yeah. Early start of the day, but that means we get home early, so Absolutely. pretty sick. I surprised the girls. Yeah, yeah, he's got the family. It's an epic trip. Um, now just uh, a little flight home, so I'll see you guys at the airport. <laughs> All right, we were back in Florida, just getting some gas. I don't know why I decided to fly out of Orlando instead of Tampa. I don't know. Epic week. I wish I would have filmed a little bit more, but obviously <clears throat> I'm just meeting a bunch of new people. So I'm trying to, you know, be present. There's just so many savages on the BPN team, whether it's lifting, running, everything in between. That is one of the biggest, you know, perks of posting on social media is just like all the people you get to meet. Now, you know, with work, traveling, flying all over the place, I get to, you know, link up with these people in different cities um, and just have friends all over the country. And, um, it's cool to just be a part of a community like that. BPN, shout out to BPN. I mean, I've never been a part of a team like this that, that really cares um, about their athletes. So super cool. You know, obviously I, I share mostly my pilot life, but you know, this is also 50% of my life or more is, you know, content creation. Obviously creating a YouTube video right now and just, you know, posting and working with different brands that, that I really like and just, you know, linking up with people all over the place in that similar space. So I hope this showed you a little bit of like a, the insight of an athlete weekend. It's not something I've done many times before, but this was the best one I've ever been on hands down. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.